Peyton, I'm so excited to set up a cozy book nook for the clubhouse. I just love to curl up with a good story. First, we need a bunch of soft pillows. This is my flower pillow. It makes me feel so bright and cheerful. Next, we need some cozy blankets. I love my super fuzzy blanket. Let's see, we have pillows, we have blankets. What else do we need for our cozy nook? Oh, yes, we need books. I love, love, love books. There's so much we can learn from stories. I have board books, picture books. I even have some big kid chapter books. Once upon a time. Who? Who? It's Holly. Hello, Peyton. Who? Who? Reading stories, are you? stories so much. Stories are wonderful. It's true. Jesus even told stories too. Listen to this one. Just follow me through. Ooh, ooh. Follow me through. Follow me through. I've got a Bible story for me and you. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Oh, hola friends, I'm Luis, the handyman. I was painting this piggy bank, but I got so caught up in reading my Bible, I forgot about it. <laughs> you know, Jesus teaches us the most amazing things, like this story I was just reading in the Bible. Do you want to help me build it? Great! Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, Tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible is a story Jesus told to teach us that God loves us no matter what. It's about a dad and his son. The dad had saved a lot of money to give to his son when he was much older. But one day, the son asked his dad to give him all the money right now. And the dad gave it to him. The son took the money and went far away from home. Everybody waved to the son. Bye. The son took his dad's money and spent it on everything. He bought fancy clothes, he ate really fancy food, he spent all the money with all his friends. And then whoops, the money was all gone. Everyone say, all gone, all gone. There was no more money. The son didn't know what to do. He didn't have a bed to sleep in or any food to eat. The son was so hungry, he even thought about eating pig food. <gasps> Everyone say, Ew! <gasps> Ew! Yeah, he was really hungry. <sighs> the son knew he had made a lot of bad choices. He was so sorry, and he wanted to go home, but he didn't know if his dad would let him come home. 
Since he had nowhere else to go, the son decided to go home. And when his dad saw him coming, he ran to his son and hugged him and threw him a big party to celebrate. The dad was so glad that his son had come back home. The dad loved his son so much. Even though the son had made bad choices and spent all the money. Jesus told this story because he wants to teach us something very important. He wants us to know that God loves us no matter what. <laughs> I'm so glad we have a friend like Jesus to teach us important things. Hey there, Ali. Tell me, who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches me important things. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches me important things. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. See you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. The father loved his son, just like God loves me and you. Thanks, Sully. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Jesus told such a great story and taught us that God loves us no matter what. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. Oh, here's my Bible. The story about the dad and son is right here. I'm gonna get all cozy and read it again. Bye! The crowds were amazed at his teaching. Matthew 7, 28. The crowds were amazed at his teaching. Matthew 7, 28.